Hello everyone, uh, welcome for another video. Uh, in, our, in our last video, what we showed is uh, how to download uh, flow hydrodynamics, uh, for instance, water level data for your, uh, for your hydrodynamic model. And now, uh, today I'm going to show you how to download uh, freely available wave data from, from the wave uh, and uh, you can use it for your, for your models. Uh, as a wave boundary condition. Uh, so let's start with that one. Uh, so there's a website called ECMWF. Uh, it's a Copernicus EU website where you can find uh, hourly wave data for from 1940 till today. Uh, so if you can see this is the starting year 1940 and this is 2023 and they constantly so you have till April so it's a very recent data that you have here uh, for for your for your project or for your research so you can easily download this wave data from the website all you need to do is, is sign up for 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 a uh, uh, for account for this one uh, you can easily do that with uh, sharing some of your information and then you can download the data another thing is that uh, you can select uh, the whole available region for your wave data or you can select some extent of the area that you want for your uh, for your wave data to be extracted another thing you need to uh, remember there's a limit for data to be uh, downloaded uh, so for instance you cannot download more than 100,000 data points for 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 your for your data but the thing is that you can request for different uh, for for a single area single single year for instance you can select a single year for um, or single month or even uh, even 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 one or two year for 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 selected region and then you can download it and then you can download again and then you can uh, you can easily join the net city of files to create a bigger one that you can do very easily if you have a very big uh, area to cover so uh, so after setting up your uh, so this is these these are the parameters of this is not so this these are the latitudes the latitudinal limit from north to south and this is uh, longitudinal limits for for your uh, east to west so so if you put this one and then uh, then submit the form of request and then what they will do they will uh, they will give you this this data sets uh, which can be downloaded from here if you click on download it will be there I have already uh, downloaded this one so uh, let me show you uh, how the wave uh, data looks like so before going there let me show you what you should download for your wave model so in Delft 3D if you want to in input uh, not only Delft 3D in, in where all, almost all of the models what you need is the wave height for your wave model then you need the wave period normally peak period or TP the significant wave height HS then mean wave direction so the theta or, or the wave that, uh, that that incoming wave direction and then you have the spectral wave uh, directional spreading so so you have a mean wave uh, direction and how much that direction uh, deviate from from the from the mean so that's the uh, directional spreading and so these are the four parameters that you need for your wave data and you can also uh, because if you want to simulate storm surge you ne also need wind data for your for your model and uh, you can also download that one here as well so you the 10 meter u component of the v uh, for of, of the wind and then 10 meter v component of the wind and then uh, mean sea level pressure that's another uh, uh, another uh, uh, aspect uh, in order to see how the storms is moving so so this is uh, this is uh, this is also required so if you have these three data uh, you can uh, easily uh, simulate storm surge in your in your in your new model so these are the things that you should uh, click and you can also easily download very uh, very other other things here as well uh, uh, it's 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 ready to explore for 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 what you need to download for your for your project for your research 
and and the uh, very good thing is that it's it's free uh, you can easily download it so that's uh, that's 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 the amazing thing and now let me show you how this uh, this data looks like so I have only al already downloaded this so uh, let's let's see uh, where we can go okay uh, so if we go to let's see okay so here you have in in quick plot you can you can easily see the uh, net cdf file so you have the 10 meters u component 10 meters v component means sea level pressure wave direction uh, wave period significant wave height and wave spectral directional width or wave uh, directional spreading so let's see the significant wave height which is the most important parameter for your wave model so here um, so you may say that why this one this area is is uh, is wide because this area has land area so there is no water area here the the region that i selected so these areas do not have any water so <coughs> the model uh, it only gives the area that has uh, wave data so if you see this this one so you you can see that <coughs> from it has from January 2023 till uh, 31st January 2023 uh, three. Um, so you can easily also animate this one and to see how this looks like so you can see that how much uh, yeah wave is coming it, it's, 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 it's a very uh, good tool to to see how the waves are uh, coming incoming to the shore so probably there's some kind of depression here uh, you can also easily find out that using the uh, the wave uh, this mean sea level pressure here And for this one, you have the whole region because pressure uh, is is uh, applicable not only in water. You can you can also have that uh, that in the whole area. Uh, although it's it's a sea sea level pressure, it's it's normally means the the barometric pressure for 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 entire area. Uh, so you can see this one easily. So you can easily see that there is a <coughs> there's probably a storm here that was forming and uh, and it, it passed away like this way so yeah let let's see how it looks like uh, uh, in the animation uh, it, it may be a very interesting to things to see so you can see that the storm passing here uh, it's a very 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 handy thing you can easily identify these things very easily so yeah you can uh, use all this uh, available data uh, for your for your wave model uh, so uh, i hope you like this video and you will be able to uh, download uh, this data from from the from the wave uh, very easily and uh, if you like this video please uh, do hit the like button and share button and uh, and do subscribe the channel uh, for the channel growth uh, and if you have any question do ask me in the comment section i'll try to answer them and that's it for now bye